Hi guys, Lindsay from Simply September here, and I'm most excited to give you a bit of a visual about how to use the new craft profit calculator. So thanks to our awesome partner, Blackburn Labs, you can actually kind of see a little bit more about them here. Um, the design of this tool is so user-friendly and really makes the experience quite easy for you. With that said, if you're a visual person like I am, seeing it firsthand is going to make all the difference. So I thought I would hop on and show you a little bit about how to use this awesome tool. So first things first, this is, like I said, a craft profit calculator, and it's awesome for starting your um, own business or craft, such as on Etsy or other domains. For that, you can choose a few different questions that you want to answer when you open up this app. So you have like this question here that's going to focus on target time, this one on target pay, material cost, transaction cost, and unit price. Below is the question to help you understand exactly what you're going to be answering by doing this exact tool. So let's just get started with the first one, although you do not have to stay in order, and this is going to be target time. So how quick do I have to make each unit? So you click start and you take you are taken to the screen. So first things first, you want to determine your desired hourly profit. I want to make $10 an hour. So I enter it in there. Now it asks me the total cost of all materials per unit. It's going to cost me $13 in materials to make this one item. My transaction cost, so this is your total taxes, Etsy fees, PayPal fees per sale, etc. This you're really going to have to take into consideration and customize. You can do a bit of a guesstimate like I'm going to do now, or you can really um, know firsthand by doing the math ahead of time. So if you take into consideration taxes, and that can obviously vary per state and per sale price of how many units you're selling at once, um, Etsy fees, PayPal fees, all that. But for now, I'm going to say that this is $2 for me. And then I'm going to say that I am going to sell the item for $25. So here you can see that it populates for you. Each unit can take me no longer than one hour to make. So in order to hit these variables with this much material cost, this much transaction cost, selling at this price and wanting to make $10 per hour, it can take me one hour. If I take two hours to make it, I'm not going to hit this total. If I take 30 minutes to make it, I can make more than this total, so or more than this profit. So that's how it shows you. Now, what you want to do here is up by the question, you can arrow down and you can click any of the other questions. What is my hourly profit? What is my maximum material cost? And so on. With that said, let's go to what is my hourly profit so I can show you. And you can see that these numbers just kind of switch themselves around from what you just inputted. The nice thing is you don't need to start over and by inputting the same information in, it's already there for you and it breaks it up separately. Showing you $10 per hour you will make. Now you're seeing your hourly profit. If you want to change that, you can play around with these variables. I want to know if I instead could get my materials my material cost down to $10. How would that change? Well, now I'd be making $13 an hour. Oh no, my transaction fee was actually more like $280. Now I'm making $12.20 per hour. And my unit price, I actually think $25 was a little bit steep, and so I want to get it down to $20. Well, now you can see I'm making $7.20 per hour. You can also see when I went to go change that number around that it shows you if it doesn't work. For example, if I want to make one, if I want to take one hour to make a pro, or to make a unit, my material cost is ten dollars, my transaction fee is two dollars and eighty cents, and my unit price I'm selling it for is two dollars. Well, here you'll see I'm making zero dollars an hour. So in clear orange, you will see that this product is not profitable. You'll want to adjust your values or try maybe changing the question that you're asking around to make it more make it more sense. You also can see up here. Let's just put this number back in. With your questions, if you want to get back to the main screen because you want to see the questions in a different format, you can go right back up here to none and it shows you them all here. You can also see over here that you can reset your values. By resetting the values, now when I click on a question, I'm back to zero all around and it doesn't change things for me. With that said, I'm gonna go back to none. Now, a big misconception and why 
or I should say a big reason why this tool is different than other profit calculator tools that you may find out there is that this one does not focus primarily on sale price of the product. A huge misconception by many new crafters or business owners in general is that the sale price of the unit is the main number under their control. However, the truth is, is that sales, sale prices tend to be quite fixed. Once they figure that about $10 is the price most people are willing to pay for something, then that's it. Sure, you can improve the quality of the product, or you can add features, and that might increase the amount the market's willing to pay for it. However, it also could not. This means that increased production costs can also often result in net loss in the end. Sometimes, it simply doesn't increase the sale price at all and only the production time or the production cost. So, in order to be as profitable as possible, a good business owner looks at all the costs under their control, such as the time it takes to make something, the labor costs, the material costs, the transaction costs, etc. And that's what this specific calculator tool allows you to do. You can flip between calculating any of these, these costs seamlessly to refine and tweak the optimal cost or profit configuration for any given product. With that said, I hope you understand that this tool is going to give you the basics of how you can start your own craft business by simply clicking on the links below. Any questions, feel free to reach out.